A very hard shell, in fact an exoskeleton to be more precise, and wait, come back, sorry buddy, wait, we're not finished with our experiment. We're doing an experiment with our beetle. We've cleared a blank canvas for him, and we're letting him walk across it. And what we're doing is having a look at the tracks that he leaves behind. And it's utterly fascinating, or I find it fascinating, and I'm going to share it with all of you. So there he goes, watch the way that he walks. Off he goes. All three legs on each side working in tandem. The middle one is a pivot and the two outside ones um, basically moving and carrying his weight, working opposite to each other. So there you go, off he goes. I don't know why he needs that soundtrack. I clearly have really lost my mind this morning. But what I want to show you, I've actually got a couple of exciting things to show you. Uh, well, I mean, you've just come off a leopard wild dog combination, so I'm not sure how exciting you're going to find it, but I find it exciting. Now, the reason that we've blanked out this bit and we've allowed him to walk across a nice fresh patch of ground is so we can look at his tracks. So we know that he's going in this direction. There we go, that's a beautifully drawn arrow. Perfectly straight, not crooked at all. And then if you look, and Dave, I'm not sure how it looks from your perspective, if you're going to be able to see this detail, mm. but I'm going to try. So, these are his outside, his two outside feet. The back one kind of points that way, the front one kind of points that way, and the middle one, this is the middle one, that's the one that acts as a pivot. And then the next step will fall here, and there's the outside foot pointing forwards and outwards, the back foot pointing outwards but backwards, and the middle foot doing what middle feet do best. So these are beetle tracks, and pretty much every single, whether it's a dung beetle, whether it's a ground beetle, they will pretty much follow this pattern exactly. And I think that, personally, I find that fascinating. There's three distinct feet that you can see in a track. Now, speaking of distinct tracks, relatively distinct because they've been driven over, we were not wrong about Shadow coming along this road. She has been here. Probably, Herbie, what do you think, last night? 